Now, there are just hours to go until North America experiences a total solar eclipse. Millions of people are expected to gather to watch the skies darken in the middle of the day as the moon passes between the sun and the earth. It's a rare event, and this one is expected to last around four minutes. To tell us a bit about it, our science and tech editor, Julia Seeger, is with me. And so, Julia, first of all, where will the eclipse be visible from today? So, as you said, it will be visible in North America, mm -hmm. uh, mainly on what we call the path of totality of the eclipse. So, as the name suggests, everybody living on that diagonal that starts from uh, Mexico, crosses the U.S. from the south to the northeast, and then lands in uh, Canada, will be able to see a total total solar eclipse. But it will also be able, people outside of this path of totality will also be able to see a partial eclipse. And people as far south as the Caribbean or in the north in, in Greenland, but also Iceland, will also see this phenomenon. It will last five hours at 10 minutes and five seconds precisely. It will start at 5.42 p.m. Paris time and end at 10.52 p.m. Now, uh, those who are fortunate enough to be able to observe it will have to, of course, wear protection protective eyewear, uh, only they'll be able to take it off just when the two discs are perfectly uh, overlapping. So that will last, as you said, three to four minutes. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the time, they really have to protect their eyes because the sun UV lights can actually create uh, irreversible issues to the cornea and the retina specifically. Now, for those who will not be on the path, for those who are living in Europe, for instance, well, you'll have to tune in on the YouTube channel of NASA who will rebroadcast mm -hmm. the eclipse starting at uh, 7 p.m. tonight, Paris time. And just scientifically, Julia, break down exactly what an eclipse is for us and why it's such a rare phenomenon. So a total eclipse occurs when the moon uh, really moves in front of the sun and uh, obscures it completely from Earth. And the reason why it's so rare is because, for one, you have to imagine that the, the, the moon doesn't always orbit on the same plane as the sun. And then the second reason is that you need the perfect distance for that alignment to happen mm -hmm. between the sun, the moon, and the earth. And of course, it happens very rarely. The last one happened 50 years ago. The next one is expected to occur in 80 years. And there are different types of eclipses. So you'll have a partial eclipse. Those are when the both disks are not aligned. Then you can also have an annular one, which creates this sort of a ring of fire in the sun. And, and you see, it seems like the moon is smaller uh, than, than the sun. Sun. But no matter what, all eclipses uh, create this incredible atmosphere, these landscapes that seem to be completely out of time and space, and sometimes even somewhat apocalyptic because you have what we call the black sun coming out. Wow, quite an image, Julia. And scientists today will be looking pretty closely at the eclipse. Explain to us why. Well, it's always a great opportunity to study what we call the solar corona. The solar corona is the atmosphere surrounding the sun. It's made out of, of uh, plasma, very hot gas, primarily hydrogen. And there's this enigma about the corona, which is that it's actually much warmer than the surface of the sun, which doesn't make sense. It should be the opposite. Going outward, the temperature should be going down. But when it comes to the sun, it's the opposite. And it's also the only time that we get to see it with our bare eyes because there's the moon that's you know, in front of the sun, and we're not, we're, we can actually see that. Now, scientists are also studying the effects of the eclipse on animals. It's kind of like also when there's a, an earthquake, animals tend to behave in, in different ways. So they've seen with insects and birds, they tend to take flight in swarms large enough to be able to be detected on radars. Uh, they've also seen, and this is quite interesting, but Galapagos tortoises, they, t they tend to mate all together at the same time during <laughs> those two, three minutes where everything goes dark. So they really want to learn more, more about this. The reason why is because the reason why it's taking so much time to understand why animals are, are behaving that way mm. is because studies are really short because right. it only happens for two to three minutes. Mm. So this is why we're still studying those phenomena. All right. Well, next time, Julia, come back and tell us what they learned. I'll tell you more about the tortoises. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> Julia Seeger for us there. Well, that's it from us here.